your Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, January the 21st, 2019. Today is the birthday in 1907 of Janusz Mandix, a priest from Latvia who was condemned to the Vorkuta Gulag in modern-day Russia. He was ordained a priest in 1938 for the Congregation of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception. And he was arrested in 1950 for anti-Soviet propaganda and for, quote, organizing anti-Soviet nationalist gangs. He was sentenced to 10 years hard labor, but was killed in less than two years during the so-called Vorkuta Uprising, in which a minor work strike got 42 prisoners shot, including Father Mondix. While saints who died in German war camps like Edith Stein and Maximilian Kolbe tend to be well known in the West, Russian victims were treated much worse in most cases and are almost entirely unknown to us. Father Mondix is one of among hundreds of priests who were condemned to forced labor and death just for preaching the gospel in Soviet Russia. In a similar theme, today is the day in 1950 when the world lost Eric Arthur Blair, known to history by his pen name, George Orwell. He was a British essayist and a philosopher whose fiction has turned out to be sadly prophetic. In 1945, Orwell wrote Animal Farm, a short novel which relates the events leading up to the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia as an allegory set in a farmyard. The book is incredibly powerful, especially when applied to events of our own day and when it comes to the use of the media for disinformation, propaganda, and outright lies. Orwell is best known, though, for his dystopian novel 1984, in which the government and its big brother surveillance system use newspeak and doublethink to dehumanize the populace under its thumb. The history of the West in the post-Cold War era is stunningly visible in the words Orwell wrote in 1949. Nowadays, his name is synonymous with totalitarian or authoritarian social practices, which we call Orwellian. And of course, he invented the phrases Big Brother and Thought Police. He died young at only 47 years old in 1950. And finally, today is the Feast of St. Agnes, a virgin martyred at the age of 13 in Rome. Her story goes that she was a beautiful young girl of a wealthy family, and thus she had many suitors. She was resolute, though, in insisting on absolute purity for Jesus. And one of her rejected suitors submitted her name as a Christian during the Diocletian persecution. The prefect Sempronius condemned Agnes to be dragged naked through the streets to a brothel. As she prayed, her hair grew and covered her body. And all the men that attempted to rape her were immediately struck blind. The son of the prefect was struck dead, but was revived after Agnes prayed for him, causing her release. There was a trial, and she was condemned to burn at the stake, but the bundle of wood simply wouldn't catch fire. And so ultimately, the centurion beheaded her with his sword. Immediately, her tomb on the Via Nomentana became famous for miracles, with the daughter of Constantine being cured of leprosy there. For the past 500 years, popes have blessed lambs today in honor of St. Agnes, whose name is a homonym for agnus, the Latin word for sheep. The lambs blessed today will be sheared in a few months, and their wool will be used to make linen, which will be made into the pallium vestments that look like a yoke that are worn by archbishops. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.